Outside the Portland Memorial Missionary Baptist Church was a spirited conversation Tuesday about what exactly is tax increment financing, also known as TIF, and what effect it will have on home ownership. I'm not going to be able to live here. I'm either going to continue to rent or I'm going to move elsewhere. A new TIF district would allow the city to divert future property tax revenue to help pay for projects in West Louisville. It's designed to kickstart economic development and quality of life while also keeping it affordable for current homeowners. Affordable for who? The who can get pretty complicated as residents fear gentrification and being driven out of their own community after the West End Opportunity Partnership was announced at a press conference back in February. I talked with them on a Sunday before the press conference and they were when I start and I'm a question I'm going to question okay they didn't have the answers while there are many questions about TIF the big talker at this meeting was about the property tax freeze which would allow current homeowners to pay the property tax on their home as of January 2021 and it would not increase for 30 years while many are skeptical about it renters say they're worried too there could be some type of incentive for um, renters to keep affordable housing, but it hasn't really been clear. Here in West Louisville, data shows about 37% of residents are homeowners, but about 60% are renters, and they're wondering how they'll be protected in TIF. So we do have a dog in this fight. We are very much concerned because, as you know, in, when uh, things start to move into the neighborhood, neighborhood improves, our rent is going to go up. And for Millie Martin, she's also worried about elderly homeowners being taken advantage of through lack of knowledge with TIF. And it makes it very difficult for us to have generational wealth when our more seasoned family members are being taken advantage of because there's nothing left for us once it's taken from them. Now the hope from these residents is that their elected officials listen to them and provide education and the truth about the future of their community. In West Louisville, Stefan Dingle, WLKY News.